two years this summer I knew it from the day I saw her We were gonna be together That's why I'm here to see ya She doesn't know I'm in Virginia But I know she's my forever Well, today is the day that the two of you will formally declare your intent to marry and make your vows of one another. And although this is indeed a high point in your lives, quite literally, <laughs> marriage is a journey and not a destination. Marriage is more than any one single event or promise, but it is a series of decisions that have been made and will continue to be made over and again that show each of your care and concern for that one whom you love most in this world. And so today's ceremony is more than the celebration of that love which lives in your hearts, but it also reaches well into the future and it proclaims your intentions for that which tomorrow shall hold. A couple who weds is joined not only by the mutual affection and love that they share, but also by their hopes, their dreams, and by the promises of what will be. And the promises and vows that you make today shall guide you both into your coming futures. And the covenant of marriage is one that can only be entered into by those who are both legally and spiritually free to do so. So I ask each of you, do you, Mark, offer yourself wholly and joyfully into this marriage? And do you choose Ayla as a person with whom you will share your life in laughter and in tears, in conflict and tranquility, loving what you know of her and trusting what you do not yet know? If so, please say, I do. I do. And do you, Ayla, offer yourself wholly and joyfully into this marriage? And do you choose Mark as a person with whom you will share your life in laughter and in tears, conflict and tranquility, loving what you know of him and trusting what you do not yet know? If so, please say, I do. I do. Perfect. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> Ayla, before I met you, I wasn't really sure where my life was headed. I knew that I would be okay. I had my dreams and goals, my family and friends. But I wasn't really sure what life had in store for me beyond that. And then through a little push or a shove, <laughs> a piece of pizza, drink, and a cupcake, <laughs> God put you in my path when I was least expecting it. When I met you, something deep inside me woke up for the very first time. Not superficial or fleeting, I needed to know you. So much so that I spent an entire car ride home trying to concoct a plan to get back to you. <laughs> God already had you on that one. And I never doubted, I've never doubted how we were meant for each other ever since. As we've grown together, I have loved watching you be a mother to Jacob, seeing how caring, engaging, proactive, generous, and considerate you are towards me, our families, and our friends. I fell in love very quickly with your drive and strength, your intellect, your intelligence, your energy, your quirky sense of humor, your poker face, <laughs> how you are able to make anyone and everyone feel special and appreciated, the effort you put into everything you do, and how you are always willing to find ways to enrich our little family's lives. I never thought I would find somebody who inspires me to be a better man every single day and yet always makes me feel like I'm enough. And now here today I stand before you, excited for all our future holds, certain that you are the person God meant for me. You are the greatest gift and blessing to me. I promise to love and support you through all of life's ups and downs, to grow with you and be your partner in all things, to keep bringing my rose-colored glasses with me, to be a rock to stand on when you need it, to be your confidant and place of comfort through any storm. I promise to be faithful to you, to put in the work and to communicate with you always, even when it's hard. I promise to honor and respect you in my thoughts, words, and actions, and to care for you in all things and in all ways. You are my home. Mm. I love you. Right, my wrinkled piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> I told him on our Valentine's Day card I was saving all the sap for now. <laughs> I don't do these things normally. I love you. That's it. <laughs> That's all you get. <laughs> Take it. All right. My Mark, honey. I am so grateful to be here, finally, at this point. You have been the most wonderful, unexpected surprise. And at times, I'm still in awe of the divine intervention 
that really brought us together. So as I started writing my vows, I kept remembering how you asked your friends their 10 reasons before you would support them in marriage. Mm. So in that light, I am giving you mine. So first, you temper me and reset me, and you have been able to do this from the beginning, um, and it's an absolute gift. Uh, you know exactly what to say or do that just puts me back in, a, back in a place and levels me out. And you do the same with Jacob. It's just something you're always good at. Your kindness, you're so gentle and gracious. Your patience with me and with Jacob and the zoo that you know we love. Your acceptance, you've been so welcoming immediately to my family and my friends and adapted to the way Jacob and I run day to day and don't stop. Um, and embraced it all, even though I know it was a huge change. Your willingness to always try new things with me, from adventure challenges to rollerblading the long miles and walking everywhere, um, <laughs> going to any activity or gathering and maneuver maneuvering the fair to get my beloved sporks. <laughs> your generosity with money, but especially with your time. Your willingness to give up evenings and weekends to build a chicken run for us or a swing set or help my friends build a deck or install a door or give up a productive night for games and movies. There's never been a hesitation. You are romantic. <laughs> 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 from our first date, dancing on the Stillwater Bridge, walking in from work with candles, you coming home with flowers. It's something I thought I'd never enjoy as much as I do. And I really love and appreciate you for doing all those things. Eight, you carry the burden of household you help carry. You anticipate the needs, you replace the toilet paper, and you, <laughs> you try to keep the house manageable and take the load off of me. Nine, you are playful and such a great person for Jacob and a wonderful influence. I appreciate how you help me parent and how much you care for him and recognizing that this is one of the biggest challenges to um, learning how to fit in your new bonus role, bonus parent role. You truly do it flawlessly, and this kid adores you, as do I. And most importantly, number 10, you challenge me. You push me to be better physically, mentally, emotionally, and I love that with you, we will always be learning and growing together. I love you with all I got, and I am so excited for this new journey, and I am excited for you to be my co-pilot, co my partner, my best friend, and my husband. I promise to always love you, respect you, learn, learn you and learn with you, to date you, challenge you, and never lose appreciation for you, and put, our, put you and our family first. You are my forever person, and I am giddy excited <laughs> for this. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Perfect. So, Ayla, I give you this ring. Ayla, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our love. As a symbol of our love. With all that I have. With all that I have. And all that I am. And all that I am. I honor you. Perfect. Place it on his finger. Mm -hmm. Say, Mark, I give you this ring. Mark, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our love. As a symbol of our love. With all that I have. With all that I have. And all that I am. And all that I am. I honor you. I honor you. Well, in today's ceremony, you have declared your wish to be joined in marriage. You've each pledged the other your lifelong commitment, love, and devotion, and you've sealed those promises by exchanging of rings. So Mark and Ayla, by the power vested in me in the state of South Carolina, where we are right now, and because I believe my, yeah, we're on this side of the crack, there uh -huh. we go, because I believe my faith to you and you shared by everyone who came up to be with you today, it is my honor and my sincere delight to now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss. You've never seen anything better. It's the season three you're watching. A little bit of evening walking, sitting with your best friend talking. Oh, it's not just picture perfect dancing in a white dress. It's not just rainy days when nothing stops a fighting. It's not just highs and lows and champagne toasts. I've come to know that love's not only the best days. Or the worst days Love is the Tuesdays Yeah, love is the Tuesdays No, it's not Hollywood, son 
Cause troubles will come But it's the best decision you're ever gonna make And you've got my blessing But just hear this lesson 27 years and all I've gotta say Is it's not just picture perfect dancing in a white dress it's not just a rainy day so nothing stops the fighting It's not just highs and lows and champagne toasts have come to know That love's not only the best days or the worst days Love is the Tuesday Yeah, love is the Tuesday Oh, love is the Tuesday